I did indeed. Good evening to you, Jen and Tom. Worcester Road still closed at this hour. This is nearly 13 hours after that hairy 911 call. Just spoke with a police officer who tells me he'll be stationed here at the end of the road all night long. Still a very active scene here. And in the past hour or so, an electric utility crew arrived. Police confirming that crew is doing work at the home where this crime happened, but would not elaborate what. The best news of the night that 93 year old homeowner, she is out of the hospital and expected to be okay. She's 93. She's actually gone blind in the last three years, three or four years. Her husband died uh, about three or four years ago. She's a resilient little woman. Prayers and positive thoughts going out to the 93 year old victim who was tied up in her own home early Wednesday morning. Her caretaker, a woman in her 60s, was also tied up. After the subjects left, uh, the two, at least one of the females, was able to escape to a neighbor's home to contact police to report the incident. The heavy police presence got the attention of neighbors who remember with painful clarity the deadly home invasion in Mont Vernon nearly five years ago. You know, after the, the Kimberly Cates thing, you don't really expect it in your neighborhood, and here it is again, six or seven years later, happening all over again. Kind of scary. Police believe the break in was targeted but won't say why. Assurances that the public is not in danger? Not much comfort to neighbors here who are looking to increase their own home security. My wife's already called me. <laughs> so. Really? Oh, yeah. Saying what? Well, we should have deadbolts and stuff like that. Investigators spent all day processing evidence in the house. A green minivan was towed away. Police say it's one of several stolen vehicles that could be connected to this crime. There were several vehicles um, that were recovered. Uh, we're still looking into the uh, where these vehicles were taken from and, and their role in this particular incident. Investigators calling this a most heinous crime, telling me they will not dial back until they have those suspects in custody. None are in custody at this hour. We're live in Hollis tonight. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.